hi guys welcome you again to another news of course there have been a lot of talks on if IPOB is a terror group or not now is IPOB a terrorist group or not that is the question and there have been a lot of talks on it IPOB itself have said IPOB is not a terror group and I'm the kind of said IPOB was not created to constitute nuisance or create any terrorism act in the southeastern part, but to protect the lives of the citizens. Since the Nigerian uh, government, since the insecurity situation, have continued to ravage. Now, it has just been said that IPOP has been listed among the 20 world most deadly terror groups. So, Looking at the world most deadly terror group, not just Nigeria but the world, most deadly terror groups, IPOP is listed among the 20. What is your take to this? Definitely, if IPOP should be the 20, then IPOP is referred to as a terror group. Do you believe that IPOP is actually a terror group? Well, we would like you to see it as according to the full details of the news to see what is actually happening for coming across this channel for the very first time don't just watch and leave the subscribe and don't forget to turn on the bell icon to get you notified anytime we post a new update and also a big shout out to our existing subscribers I want to say a big thank you to you for liking sharing and commenting i want to employ you to continue to do so and as you do remain blessed now to the full gist of the news the 2023 Global Terrorism Index GTI reports list the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra IPOP as one of the most 20 deadliest terrorist organization in the world, despite the fact that terrorism influence in Nigeria has been waning. According to the survey, Nigeria is now ranked eight globally among the nations that have been severely impacted by terrorism in 2022. Nigeria has been ranked third for more than three years prior to last year when it fell, you know, it fell, pardon, to sixth place. For the fourth year in a row, Afghanistan is the nation most affected by terrorism, followed by three African nations, Burkina Faso in second place, Somalia in third place, and Mali in fourth. Syria is in the fifth place, followed by Pakistan in sixth, and Iraq in seventh. Following Nigeria, Boma, in Obama, pardon, is placed ninth, while Nigeria's neighbor, the Niger Republic, is ranked tenth among the nations that were severely affected by terrorism in 2022. The GTI study, which was published on Tuesday, is in its tenth year. It keeps tabs on acts of terrorism all around the world. It is created by the Institute for Economic and Peace, a neutral non-profit organization with its main office in Sydney, Australia. While Islamic State, which operates mostly in Iraq and Syria, is ranked first on the list of the world's deadliest terrorist organization, the GTI reports ranked IPOP in number 10. Nigeria's deadliest terrorist organization is Boko Haram, which is ranked as the world's seventh deadliest terrorist organization behind Islamic State, West African province ISWAP, which is ranked sixth globally. ISWAP is ranked 6th globally.
according to the report, the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP designated as a terror group by the Nigerian government in 2017 recorded their deadliest year in 2022. They were responsible for 40 attacks and 57 deaths in 2022, an increase from 26 attacks and 34 deaths the year prior. The Igbo speaking southeast region of Nigeria and some areas of South South Nigeria are the focus of IPOP's campaign for the creation of the independent states of Biafra. The GTI assessment from the previous year linked conflicts between law enforcement and IPOP as the cause of the rise in attacks on Nigerian police and other security agencies. Part of the assessment reads, Attacks against police and prisons increased substantially from one recorded attack in 2020 to 75 in 2021, accounting for over a third of all attacks in Nigeria in 2021. This was highly driven by an increase in clashes between law enforcement and separatist groups such as the indigenous people of Piafra, IPOP. In Amdekanu, the head of IPOP is being held in custody in Abuja on terrorism and related charges. What is your take to this? Don't forget that Enamdekanu was arrested on terrorism charges and despite the court has freed him, you know, discharge and acquit him is still in detention. Now that the IPOP created has been tagged as uh, a terrorist group and has been listed among the 20 world most deadly terror groups. Do you think there's any probability that Mazanam Dekano will be released soon? Well, we would like you to let us know your own take on this but before we go. Let's people's reactions on what has been said. Guest here reacted and said, What's the position of the Fulani headsman? If IPOP is listed the 20 on the list, then what position is the Fulani headsman or are they not terrorist group? What is your take to this? Ugo Eben also reacted and said, You call IPOP a separatist and still call them terrorists. You are confusing yourself. That is what has been said by Ugo Ben to our Nigerian government, that the same Nigerian government is referring to uh, the IPOP as separatist group and at the same time you are calling them terrorist. As a good citizen of Nigeria, as a lover of Mazinam Dikano, do you think IPOP is actually a terrorist group? Well, we would like you to let us know your own take on this. Thank you guys for listening. Subscribe to this channel if you have not and I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.